Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a Game Pass Team Changer into your game. This Game Pass Team Changer makes it so that if a player does not have a Game Pass, they cannot get on a certain team. Um, we will have other, there will be other examples. This video will be going off of the Group Team Changer. Um, I'll put that up in the card. It should be in the upper right. Um, we will have it with the group team changer, normal team changer, and then we'll also have a game pass team changer. But this tutorial will only be going over the game pass team changer. So let's go ahead, open up Roblox Studio. Once Roblox Studio is opened, go ahead and find your place that you're going to be working on. Once you have your place open, go ahead and go up into the view or into the tabs, click view, make sure explorer, properties, and toolbox are open. You do not need anything else open, so if there is anything else open, you can close it. Alright, next thing next, you're going to go into the description of this video and click on that Roblox link and it will bring you to the Roblox site and get that model. Click the big green button that says get. Um, you're going to be importing that into the game. So go ahead, we can go back into the tabs and click home. Go ahead and open up toolbox. You go into my inventory, go into my models, and you should have Army's Team Changer in your models if you went under the video and got that. So we'll go ahead and put that into the game. If we go into explore, it should be in the workspace. So we'll go ahead and open that, click the arrow. We have two grouping things here, uh, ungroup and workspace and ungroup and starter GUI. So we'll go ahead and do the workspace first. You can go ahead and drag it into workspace. Should be in workspace and then control U for ungroup. And you have this right here. Next thing next is you're going to need to ungroup this one and starter GUI. So drag it down to starter GUI and ungroup, control U. Once you have that done, you can go back into workspace, find the Army's Team Changer, and you can delete that. Alright, so I'll go ahead and show you the Team Changer now. So this is the GUI here, so this is this thing right here. Um, we're going to go into that, click the arrow, click the arrow again. So this one's the group one, so there's a tutorial, like I said, you put the col team color in there, and then the group ID in there. Okay. Red team, this is just a normal team, so you can go ahead and just put the uh, the team color right in here. Um, but now for the Game Pass team, I'm going to show you what to do. So number one, we're going to want to make teams, so go down to Teams and Explore. Uh, you can go ahead and right click, find Insert Object, and find Team. Now that you have the team in here, we're going to name one. We're going to name one red team. Oh, excuse that. We're going to name one red team. And we're going to make it red. Then we're going to do control D of the red team. And we're going to disable auto assignable on it. And we're going to name it game pass team. And we're going to make that green. Now that we have that done, let's go ahead and put in the spawns for each of those just for tutorial purposes. Or, well, you'll need both these spawns. So, two spawns. We're going to make one the red color. So, go back into teams. Find the red color. It's really red. So, we'll go ahead and go into properties here. Na we can name this red team. Go into properties. Scroll down until you see uh, teams. D take off neutral. And team color should be really red. Okay, next we're going to do the... Uh, game pass team so go into explore scroll down find game pass team it's gonna be earth green so go ahead go back into the main game click on that spawn go into explore delete the decal if you would like it's not needed go into properties we're gonna make that earth green just so that we can tell the difference we're gonna scroll down find teams make sure neutrals disabled team color earth green all right now that we have that done, we're going to need to actually work with the Team GUI. So we're going to focus on, first let's start with the red team. Open that up, 
find the script with this here. And as the red team shows in properties, it is really red. So we'll go back into the script, type in really red. There we go. Now that's done. So next we'll go into Explorer, click on Game Pass Team, go into Properties, that's Earth Green. So next go back into Explorer, you can close the Red Team tab, or thing. Uh, find the Game Pass Team, open that up, and we'll just leave that for now. So go ahead and click on that. Go into Properties, scroll down. We're going to name that text what the Game Pass Team is, and the Game Pass Team is going to be game game pass team you can also copy it here go into explore click rename control C whoops control C and then go back in here we can scroll down the text needs to be game pass team it needs to be identical and then we also can right click on this rename that and name it the same thing okay Next thing that you're going to want to do, go into Workspace, open Game Pass, Team Events, open Team Event, open Script. Okay. So this should be, yep, so there's a number in here, just ignore that. This number is going to be your Game Pass ID, but we'll come back to that later. So find on line 11, it should say player.team equals game.teams.testteam. You're going to name the test team, rename only the test team, the uh, name. Um, we're going to actually, we're going to actually uh, name it the the all of it test team. Okay. Um, you can name it whatever you want as long as it doesn't have a space in it. Um, but we're going to name everything test team. So we'll go back into Explorer, click Game Pass Team, rename test team, and do the same with the text properties <clears throat> go into teams game pass team we're gonna name that test team okay next we're gonna want to get the game pass ID so go into Roblox click create okay go ahead and find the game that you're working on game pass game that's the game that I'm working on go ahead and find the gears on that click open the gears click create game pass go ahead choose a file of an image that you'd like for your game pass to be I want to blur it out for my safety go ahead and name your game pass I'm gonna name mine game pass team add a little detailed description click preview Now that you have that done, go ahead and verify upload. Okay. So go ahead and find that game pass that you just made. Click on it. Go into the URL of this game pass. Double click on that very unique number there. Control C for copy. Now go back into Roblox Studio. And where it says game pass ID on line 2. Replace that random number there with your new number, with the number that you have. Okay. Everything should work now, so we're going to go ahead and test it. Okay, so we're on the red team. We're going to go ahead and click the test team, which is the Game Pass team. And as you can see, it spawned us right in the green team, which is the team te test team and the game pass team so we we can also test the red team make sure that works and there we go hey guys i forgot to add something into the video here so i'm just going to make a quick clip to fix that up so i just want to prove to you that this does work so go into explorer i'm you don't have to do this i'm just going to do this um or go into workspace i'm just going to change this game pass by one variable I don't have this game pass here and I just want to show you that if I don't have the game pass it doesn't work. So I just changed that from one variable and you click play. I'm going to click team test and it does absolutely nothing. I just wanted to show you guys that um, just to make sure that you guys know that it doesn't work um, if you 
don't have the game pass. So, um, yeah, that's how you do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped you. And um, I just want to say thank you for watching all the way to the end. And thank you for the 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.